Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Jody, and I'm back with another tutorial. Welcome to Wendy's Crafting Friends. Um, today we are going to make a really fun and whimsical necklace using Sam's Beadbox Rainbow Wishes. And I did a little pre-work ahead of time just so um, there's gonna be a, there was a lot of loops that I had to make, and um, so I wanted to do some of that to free up some time to um, to fin to make it together. I am going to do some of the loops and stuff on the camera as well, so that way you guys can, you know, look at those in case you've never done it before. But I wanted to have a lot of those done already. And so in my mind as I was doing these, I kind of have an idea what I want to do. And I haven't like laid it out, laid it out. So we may be ad-libbing a little bit in between, which you guys are used to that with me at this point. I shouldn't even have to explain it. If you're new to... Um, watching any of my tutorials um, I just want to let you know sometimes I plan something out and I change my mind sometimes I don't plan anything out at all and it works out perfectly so um, anyway it's going to be one of those things but first before we do all that I do want to show you I got a gift from a friend and I want to show you what I got so if you Hold on just one second. I'll flip this around and I'll show you that gift and then we'll get to beading. Okay, so I'm back and Susan McFarland had sent me um, some really cute, beautiful earrings that she had made. And I want to show you these. And um, I plan on wearing a pair of these to um, my stepson's, to be in my stepson's uh, wedding. And so here's the first pair. And these are all, and I'm, I can never say the word, Sawarski crystals. <laughs> so, um, so sorry if I butcher that, you guys, but aren't these beautiful? Look at these crystals. They're just gorgeous. She did such a phenomenal job. Look at the way they sparkle. They're just so beautiful. And so she sent me these, and I'm just blown away by them. I love these long, gorgeous earrings are so pretty. She worked with, um, oh my gosh, Sarovsky. <laughs> you guys, I cannot pronounce that word no matter how hard I try. Um, so she's done so much with them. And look at these. Look at these earrings. Oh my goodness. They're so beautiful. And I just am blown away. Susan, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is just amazing, the gorgeousness of these pieces. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I just can't get over them. And I love how they're not like, they don't like match each other, but they match each other, you know what I mean? Like to me, this is like, this is totally my style. I love the way this looks. This looks so amazing. And these are just so unique and so gorgeous too. These super long bicone like beads are so pretty. Again, Susan, thank you so much. What a nice gift, it's so sweet of you. And I can't wait to wear them. And you know, as a matter of fact, I will probably wear a pair to work when I wear one of my really nicer blouses. and. Um, I'm feeling like I want to get dressed up a little bit. So I will definitely get some use out of them. They're really pretty. And then I thought it was cool too because she sent me a nice little card and she sent me some extra earring backs, which I really like because I, I go through these things like crazy. And um, some little bookmarks, which I thought was really fun. So I will actually do, we'll do a bookmark tutorial. Uh, we'll make a couple of them and um, down the road here so i thought that would be a lot of fun to do and this is near and dear to my heart it's a little tin it says give it to god and inside it's so cute it's got this little notepad and a little pencil i just loved it and then this was you know i think i remember wendy saying that she loved this um bible verse the one that says she is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future i mean just beautiful and I am just so over the moon and so appreciative of the, this super kind gesture from a friend thank you Susan thank you again so much 
All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna start this little project here. So, um, I lost my stuff. Okay, here we go. So my intention is to use this little cloud and I think I actually need my colored little felt mat here. Let me just do this because I think it's hard to see some of these beads sometimes on white. So let me just use this little bead mat here there we go, that'll be better. So I wanna use this little cloud and I wanna use this twisty bead. I have some of these that I have not done anything with yet. And then I have other rainbow beads that I did do some stuff with. I mean, I'm getting out all the cloud beads here. And I have garbage in there. I must've thought this was my little garbage bin. <laughs> All right, and then, so I put all of these on little loops to make links, all of these beads. These, and all of these, and I'm gonna do the same thing with these. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this like, I wanna do like the rainbow, do you know two strands of rainbow, um, ending with the clouds at the end, and then the bottom strand, I want it to have um, chain, okay? So I want it to have chain, and I want to use these. So I made a bunch of different little dangles, different sizes to be like raindrops. And I think that it'll work out. I have more in case we need to do more, but um, which we probably will do some more just so I can show you more loops when we get to it. But, um, I thought it would be really cute to do that. So that's my thought, that's my idea, um, and we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and do the, make these into our, our links too, because we have what, seven there? We can knock out seven in no time. So I'm just gonna grab some of these eye pins here. And we're just going to feed a bead onto our eye pin and just bend it straight across our bead, leaving our finger here for measurement. Use your little cutter and just trim off your fingers width or about a quarter of an inch. And when I say a quarter of an inch, it's really give or take a quarter of an inch. It's kind of more of a guess. Um, it's not an exact measurement. So let's just keep doing that. Stuck to my finger and then it just fell right back on my mat. This is see all the all the links I had to make. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do some of these before we sat down and did this video together because you guys are like, oh my gosh, this is three hours and we're still making <laughs> links. Oh, so I just wanted to get some of the work done in advance. And of course, like true Jody style, I did not grab my um, my jump rings. So I will have to jump back behind me and grab those jump rings real quick, but it won't take me but a minute to grab those. So with that, it'll take me like a second to grab those. I do this every time I'll do a little bit to get ready. And then I'm like, yeah, I have everything. And then I'm like, no, you don't. You don't have a clasp. You don't have jump rings. You don't have eye pins. You don't. You know, and it's just, it drives me crazy that I can't seem to just, you know what I really need is I need to have like a whiteboard and have like a checklist that I can go through and just like always have like the same items like on there, you know, like general items because it's always the general items that I forget. And then I can check off my little list as I go through and then when I'm done, I can erase my check marks and start over again because I think that's the only way I'm gonna remember everything. And I honestly think that maybe I only remembered everything probably one time. So yeah, track record is not good, you guys. Track record is not good. And then when I was pulling out head pins and eye pins, I got to my head pins, which you know were my gold ones. And I'm like, why are all these rose gold ones in here? And <laughs> The only thing I could think of is I got some rose gold ones and I 
I was like, oh, I need to get these put away. And I, and I opened up the little box it was in and the box is red. So I think it picked up any kind of red tint. And I was like, yeah, those are rose gold. And I dumped those gold ones in there. And so when I was looking for the gold ones, I'm like, well, oh, I have these rose gold ones. And then when I got around the light, I had to laugh because it was gold and rose gold mixed together. And I'm like, oh, for crying out loud, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab those, those um, jump rings real quick here. Okay. See, that's the one nice thing about having a small craft room. Everything is just real close by. All right, so we're gonna need a few of these. I'm just gonna dump some out because we're gonna end up needing some for the clasp too and everything. So here we go. Let's use all the same size. I know I have some smaller ones here. I like to use some of these smaller ones. There we go, let's do those. And we're gonna need three for the other side too, so I might as well grab those out right away. And then we'll use two for the clasp, so I'll just put those aside, and then we're ready for everything. All right, so we have that, and now let's go ahead and start building this. I'm just gonna leave the jump rings off of it for now because I really wanna try to get my lengths correct before I make my chain at the bottom. And we're just going to mix this up because I'm not gonna do this in like a regular rainbow fashion. I'm just gonna grab and link together because I really want this to be very fun and um, just super colorful and not really so much of a pattern. Matter of fact, I took every one of these rainbow fire polish beads I had left and made them into links. And I didn't have a lot left of all of them, so that's why I wanna do this part first. The only strand I had a whole strand of were these fire polish faceted rounds. So the only thing I am trying not to do, how did I put that on a head pin? I'll have to fix that. The only thing I'm trying not to do is put the same colors by each other just so that way it stays very, um, very fun. I don't know how I grabbed an eye pin and not a head pin. Well, yeah, I do because I'm unorganized, you guys. Because I'm absolutely unorganized. So let's just do that for now because we'll probably need them too. All right. So we have a start here. And I'm just going to grab this one. Well, I hope everybody had a really great weekend. I know um, I know the weekend was went by really fast for me. I'm sure it went by really fast for you guys too. Um, this is the last week before Easter. So uh, we're having an Easter family get together at my house on Easter Sunday, um, making the ham. My mom's gonna make cheesy potatoes. I have a couple of people bringing some other sides and desserts. And um, we're gonna have it about two in the afternoon so that we can attend church that morning. And it's just gonna be a really beautiful, wonderful day. And I'm so excited to have everybody together and enjoy our wonderful little holiday together and celebrate the um, resurrection of Jesus. So I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, let's see, where are we here? I mean, how about we do, no, I don't wanna do that one. Let's do this one. Okay, let's see how we're doing. All right, we're still gonna want this to be a little bit longer, so. Let's do this one. Okay. 
All right, and then I think let's go ahead and do some of our little cloud beads that we have. So um, these, my intention is to go from the blue swirls to the um, clear AB finish, like so. so. Let's do that. Actually, let's do one more. No, let's not, let's do the clouds. See, this is what I do, you guys. This is exactly what I do. Okay. And then. I've been waiting to, you know, figure something out that I wanted to do with this cloud. My first thing was, is I, I'm like, why don't I just make like a cute little like sun catcher for my car? And then I'm like, no, I, I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want this, I want to have like a cute piece of jewelry that's just fun and whimsical and just happy and, um, I don't know, just something really, really cute. And honestly, like, it reminds me of my daughter because my daughter loves really fun, whimsical jewelry. So I think I'll probably end up giving it to her. And um, I think she'll love it and she'll wear it often. I know she will. She This is just the kind of stuff that she absolutely adores. So I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so now that we got our little cloud there, our cloud cover, let's go ahead and let's hook our um, first strand onto our cloud here. I don't know if I have the right size jump rings. Oh yeah, perfect. Good deal. Cute, cute, cute. And I think I can hook all the jump rings onto here. Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll give it a shot. If not, we'll use a bigger jump ring to hook all the little, these little guys too. Okay, so there's our first strand. So now we know our second strand needs to be longer. All right, and we have all of these that we can use. So we're probably not even gonna need all of them, which is absolutely fine. I'm I know I'm gonna have like a little bit of leftovers of some stuff, which I'll probably put together as like a, a bracelet, com you know, compilation or something like that, you know, kind of make it something fun and um, cutesy. All right, so let's go ahead and start here. And let's just start putting our little linked chain together. I really do enjoy just hooking a bunch of different beads together like this. And even though they're all like the same types of beads, they're all the same colors and like color scheme, it's really cool just to get, you know, a different feel for everything. You know what I mean? Just. Um, there's no rhyme or reason, there's different shapes, there are different colors, and they're, they go together beautifully. And it just makes it so much fun just to see how it all turns out. It's absolutely a blast to do this. So yesterday I didn't do a whole lot. I did um, the one video yesterday and I turned it over to Chris. And um, after that, I really didn't do a whole lot of anything. I um, got dinner ready and just kind of relaxed the rest of the evening and it was really nice. And then I, I actually went to bed at like 7.30 because I've been so tired lately. 
and Mondays have been hard for me to get roused and get up and get myself ready to go to work for the week. So I, I'm like, go to bed early. Even if I just like maybe read a little bit while I'm in bed or watch a little TV, at least I'm lying down and I'm resting. And the one thing I like to do is, because we do sleep with the TV on, I know that's horrible, you guys. And for those of you who do sleep with the TV on or the radio on or whatever, you understand, right? So I need to have that like flash of light to keep me asleep. Now, mind you, before I met my husband, I slept in total quiet, pitch black. Well, when I met him and we started staying with each other, he worked third shift. And in order for him to still um, come to bed with me, he would be awake all night. So he would lay in bed and watch TV and I would sleep. And then when I got up in the morning, he would go to sleep and I would go do I would go about my business and my day and do the things that I want to do and need to do. And um, so I just got used to having that sound, that really low, quiet sound of the TV and just the flashing um, from behind my eyelids. And it's really, it's really funny because that's, that's how I can sleep now. Like I, it's hard for me to sleep without all that. So um, yeah, I know it's probably not a great habit. It's probably a reason, it could be a reason why maybe I don't get great sleep, but um, either way, it's, it's something I do. <laughs> All right, so I think we'll do a couple more of these beads and then we actually won't need any more of these. Um, we'll be good to go, which is really cool. So I'll have all these little extra links that I can do other stuff with. So that'll be, that'll be good. All right, so let's go ahead and just hook on our one side so we can realistically see where we are. I might I've gone too far and did one too many, but we'll see. All right. So before this, while I was making dinner, um, I was watching some tutorials and, uh, you know, just loving like I love to watch different people do different things and everybody is known for like their stuff that they do and it, it's just so entertaining and it's so much fun and um I was watching um uh, Marcy Creates and it was an older one but it was one that I haven't seen yet so I was going through and it was an earring tutorial and she made some of the cutest earrings and her style is really fun too she's got a really fun style loves colors, loves using, you know, all different kinds of colors together. And I always found it fascinating that she finds photos of colors that are together or like even like the, what I call it, the wallpaper strips or the paint strips or whatever. And she's so right. There's some of these colors that you're like, wow, I wouldn't even imagine like that color would look great with that color, you know? but it does and it really is so inspiring. She really inspires me to um, dig into those colors and you know, you try them together. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is like, no, that looks like baby puke and I don't wanna like use that and you take it apart. Um, but you can have like a super happy accident and realize that like, oh wow, this really does look amazing together. Those are my favorite. I love happy accidents. That's my favorite. If you haven't watched her, you should jump over there and check her out because she's, and she's kind of a hoot. She's really funny. Like she'll say some things and, and it just, you know, kind of makes me giggle and she's just a lot of fun. Okay. So there's that one. All right. Good deal. I got that one. And now I want to do the chain. Now I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, you guys. I really want it to work out and I want it to be like wonderful. 
but I can't make any promises. We're gonna give it our give it our best shot though, okay? So there's that. And then I have this chain here. And we wanna go ahead and hook the chain on first because it, we, we really need to see where our length needs to be and if we need to trim any off before we start hanging our dangles from it. So we're just going to go ahead and hang this on here. And I know that could end up being kind of cumbersome when you're trying to hang dangles on something, but I really just want to be sure where I'm putting things because I, I want it to look a certain way. So I really, I'm hoping that the way I'm doing this is going to be the right way to do this. Okay, so that's on there. And then let's go ahead and I just want to measure this out, making sure that they're not going to run into each other. All right, so I actually don't need just a little chunk. I think I'm gonna go right about here. And I'll, don't worry, I save these little bits because I do use them. I use them in earrings, I use them in um, uh, tassels. I save those. I promise I won't throw that away. All right, so let's go ahead and hook this on. Maybe. This, you know, most of the time I can, I can get one side no problem, and then I get to the other side, and I'm like, why am I struggling so bad here? Oh my goodness, there we go. I was wondering if it's going to let me do it or not. And we'll just hook this right on that same spot there. sure it's closed up all the way. All right, so that's what we have so far. I think this is gonna be really, really cute. Okay, so now we have all these little raindrops. And I do have enough to make more. Um, I do have different sizes. So like I have these ones with four beads. I want all those towards the middle. And I think I have Oh, those are five beads, that's what I want. Yeah, I have three of the five beads. So I want those kind of towards the middle. So let's just make sure this is going to hang correctly here. And can you guys see, do I not? Okay, is that okay? Does that work? All right. So we definitely want to use these. And I want to have them spaced out apart enough that if I need to come back in with some tinier beads in between, I can. Um, and I want to be able to kind of like add to this as I need to because it's I really can't account for everything I'm going to need at once. So let's go ahead and hang some of these. And then what I'm going to do is I will hang more um, off camera because you guys will go crazy if all you all you see is me hanging uh, these little raindrops constantly for the next like hour. And then if I need more, we'll make more together and hang them. So my intention is to hang like a good, like six or seven, just to see where we're at. And then we'll go from there. And I think I'm gonna try to space them apart. See, it's on that link. One, two, three, four, five. I'll put six links in between them. So they're going to be on every seventh link, basically. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, I hate it when you're trying to do this and then the beads just keep sliding up towards the loop that you opened and you're like, no, let me hang this, please. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably a better way for me to do this. This probably isn't the best way, but it was the only way I felt like I could get it where I need them to be. Let me make sure that's closed all the way. Okay. There we go. And then same with this one. Okay. 
All right, so I have those on there. That's pretty much towards the middle. So it might be off by a little bit, but that's okay. Because like I said, we're probably filling in and you know, the rain falls not totally even anyway, right? I mean, <laughs> I'm making excuses, you guys. All right, so let's find the ones that are four. Okay. I think that's it for the ones that are four. So we need a couple over here, a couple over here. There we go. All right. So let's hang these and just do the same thing. Find about seven spaces on the seventh one. Oh my goodness. This makes me crazy when I can't like get it in the little loop. I should have used bigger chain, but I wanted to look at the smaller chain. Okay, okay. Let me open it up a little bit more and I'll do my counting again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, so it needs to go on that one. The problem is too, is when you're hanging on to these, the beads tend to, you know, stay right where you need them, but then the eye pin or the head pin twists like within the beads and you're like, come on, <laughs> just stay. <laughs> All right, so do this one too. Oops, see, I had it on there and then I pulled it off. So I've been getting quite a new, a lot of new people liking my Jody's um, Jewelry Creations page. Um, Thank you, you guys. And I'm trying to get organized to the point where I want to start doing some fun things on my own and um, really get you guys like, you know, um, to do some fun things with me, like some maybe some challenges that we can just post on there or um, just anything kind of fun, like maybe even like some little contests or something, something fun. And I can do like a giveaway for my stash or, or something like that. But I really would like to start trying to do that. So I'm trying to get myself more organized, so stay tuned. I also have been trying to do like sneak peek. This is what's coming up um, on Wendy's Crafting Friends. Um, let me know if you like the sneak peeks or if you think that you'd rather just be like, oh, I got a notification and you know, <laughs> I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I like to do like a, I, I thought doing a sneak peek would be fun just so you guys can see what's coming up. And you know, maybe you can be like, oh wait, you know, I've never seen anything like that. I wanna make sure I'm watching that or, oh, been there, done that, bought that t-shirt, I'm not even gonna bother, <laughs> you know? Um, it gives you guys that option or whatever. Or maybe just because you want to, you know, sit and drink your coffee and bead and visit with me, that maybe you'll have me on in the background anyway, whether you've seen something similar or not. Um, but yeah, I wanna to try to do some fun things with you guys. I also thought about doing some, um, like making something and doing like a little mini kit that um, you guys can buy. If that's something that you think you'd be interested in, let me know because that's something I can work towards as well. Um, doing like a cute little mini kit for like a necklace or a bracelet or a pair of earrings. Um, let me know if that's something that you would like 
and I can definitely work towards that as well. Um, and I was thinking about it, you know, and in my kits, I mean, it would include everything you need right down to if you need any head pins or eye pins or whatever to make what I'm making. I would make sure you had everything, of course, um, everything. So let me know if that's something that you think you might be interested in doing. If so, um, I'll get working on that as soon as this holiday is over and um, I'll have something fun and cute that we can make and then um, we can do the kit for it and you can go back to the video and make it. Or you can even just, if you like the beads that I used in the kit and you don't even wanna make what I made, that's fine too, you know. Um, let me know what you think. And you guys never fail. Whenever I ask you for your opinion on stuff, you give it. I'm so happy, thank you. So yes, I know I asked you for a lot of opinions today but I have a lot of things on my mind. You know how us ladies are where, you know, we have 30 things in our, in our minds at the same time and um, because that's just how we work. <laughs> All right, so this is what I have so far. And you know, I might, since this is like really the center, I might just like do a bunch of these just like in the center. And I used gold, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was using gold instead of the silver that came, that, you know, all the silver findings that um, came with Sam's. I wanted to use gold because all I could think of is at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. So um, I think I might do a few more going up, but I think I definitely want to concentrate on doing some in between here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'm going to do a little bit on my own and then I'll bring you back where we can make some more on the loops and hang them on the chain. All right, back guys. Okay, I'm bringing you guys back because we're getting close to the end here and I don't think we're gonna actually need more. I think we're gonna be okay. I think it's gonna look really cute. So once we get the rest of these put on here, um, then we can look at it and make a decision at that point to see if we need to do anything additional. Yeah, get them all flipped around in there. <laughs> They're just doing their own thing right now. And that's fine. Once we get it straightened out, it'll be it'll be good. All right. Got one more for in between here. All right. Then let's do these guys. I think I'm actually going to need one more. I think I miscounted. Yeah, I need one more like this. So let's go ahead and make that one real quick. Um, I need my head pin. And I need my little aquamarine bicone, my check glass double, like duo looking bead and my aquamarine. There we go. And again, you're just going to take it and just bend it straight over. Cut off some the stuff that you don't need and then use your round nose pliers to roll back and make that little loop. Just like so. Yeah, okay. Yep, I did that right, all right. I'm like, wait a minute, is something not right? <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do the end here, and we're going to just get the rest of these on here. And I'm only spacing these out about three lengths. While I was um, paused and doing this, Cheeto decided to come back and come in and join us. So he's sitting on his little perch where he usually sits and you guys will be able to see him when we turn around and try it on unless he decides he wants out before then. He's been my little snuggle buddy. He's been super cuddly at night and wanting to lay on my lap, which he doesn't, he used to do it a lot when he was a little teeny tiny kitten. Um, 
but now he just really doesn't a whole lot. But the last few nights he's been curling up on my lap and when I have a blanket on my lap and just, you know, cuddling and Marmalade always does it. He is 100% a lap cat. He has always been a lap cat. But um, Lucy's not so much of a lap cat right now. She's at that teenage years where she's rebell rebellious and um, um, she's kind of mouthy. <laughs> But Cheeto's starting to get to the point where he's wanting to cuddle more now. So I absolutely love it. It makes me happy. All right. So here we go. And I think that's Marmalade at the door. I'll check in a minute. All right. Come on. I've only got a couple of these left and it just doesn't want to cooperate with me. The minute I turn the camera on, it just starts not cooperating. I had an easy time putting them on when you guys weren't watching. But now that you're watching, I'm struggling. So turn around for a minute <laughs> while I put the last two on. I'm just kidding, you don't have to turn around. <laughs> Cheeto, what are you doing, buddy? I just let you in. Do you want out again? You don't want to stay in here with mom and all her bead friends? Hmm? Hey, buddy. I think all of our bead friends would like to see you at the end. You've become very popular. Everybody likes you. Okay, we are almost there, you guys, and then we'll be able to put the finishing touches on this, um, put the chain on it for the back of our necklace, and um, try it on and see how it ended up turning out. I hope it turned out good because this was a lot of work. <laughs> it, was, it was a tremendous amount of work. All right, so let's just kind of pick it up and see how it en ended up looking here. I'm gonna pick it up and then lay it back down. Oh, I think this turned out really cute. It's a lot of bead, it's a lot of necklace, but this is going to be one of those big, like fun statement pieces. So I think we're good there. Um, what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab some more of this chain. And I already have some cut and I think it's not quite long enough. Just... I'm grabbing some chain. I'm gonna measure it on my neck so I know where I want, because I want where the cloud to be and everything. So, and then I'll give you guys a measurement of what I have. Okay. All right, so I cut my chain and I'm gonna measure it real quick just so you know what I have. And I am using for the back, I cut 19 inches. Um, we could trim some off if we needed to, but I don't think we're going to need to. We'll see how it ends up looking when I get it on. Um, let's go ahead and cut this in half. And again, don't worry about me trimming pieces off. I keep them all. And sometimes I like to have little shorter pieces of chain anyway to like maybe finish off a bracelet or um, for dangles on an earring. It's just nice to have some that are already short and cut. All right. Okay, so there we go. And I do need one little jump ring here. I forgot about that one. And you guys, you know what I did not get? I did not grab a clasp. I will grab a lobster clasp but real fast. I know exactly where they are. And I'll be back before you even know it. Okay. There's my little lobster clasp. Chief, what are you doing, big man? Are you gonna scratch on your scratching post? All right, so let's get the first, this side on first. 
And we're just gonna hook that chain on here and right onto our cloud and close that up. Cheeto. And then we're gonna put the lobster on this side. Cheeto. Why are you scratching at that? And then this one we can hook right onto the eye pin. Not, don't need to do a jump ring there. Cheeto, what? Okay, come on. Seriously, you guys. It's really not that hard to do. I don't know why I'm struggling so bad. And I'm not even like breathing. I'm just trying to like get this like on here. Oh my goodness. Seriously, there we go. Oh my gosh, I was wondering how long it was going to take me to do that. I was thinking I was gonna to have to pause the video and do it off camera just so I can give you guys a break. All right, now we have our jump ring for the end here. Why are you scratching that box, Cheeto? Boxes are not easily kept in one piece around this guy. I do save like almost all my shipment boxes just for him to be like happy with and have and play in and scratch up just so he leaves everything else alone. All right, so we have our necklace. I am going to turn this around and try it on and, and see what you guys think. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, here it is. I think it turned out really cute. So we have our rainbows and going into our clouds and we have our raindrops and I think it turned out really adorable. You have to let me know what you think about it. And like I said, it's kind of a big piece. It's kind of one of those uh, big statement pieces, but I think it's really cute and very whimsical. And I can guarantee you my daughter Ashley will absolutely love it. Chino, come here. Come say hi to everybody. Come here. Come here. Come here, mister. Come here, mister. Oh my goodness, he's a big boy. He's a big kitty. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Say hi to everyone, Cheeto. Oh, he's a sweet baby boy. Can you say hi? <laughs> All right, I don't think Cheeto likes it. I think he just wants to crawl on my table, don't you, buddy? Yeah, you just want to crawl on my table and get into everything, huh? Well, why don't you tell all of our bead friends bye. Okay, see you later, bead friends. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you had fun. Um, of course, this is a style that you can do with pretty much anything. Um, if you have some cute focals that you want to use. Um, I think the one thing I might do differently is I would put like a larger jump ring here. Maybe these would hang a little bit more even, but I really like the way this ended up turning out. I think it turned out really cute. And um, it was a lot of fun. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. It was a lot of fun to make. So I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a really great evening and I'm sure you'll see more of me in this week. Um, many blessings to you all and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and of course a wonderful Easter. Talk to you later. Bye.